اكثر من اللي ما فهم. Hi. If you guys are new here, just know that this isn't how we do our videos around here. So please go check out other videos. Uh, this is just for the core Bubba Town group. I was just going through some things and I want to start doing a little bit more of a deep dive into my life because I go through things that I feel that has a lot of learning experiences. And if I am truly going after not having the biggest fan base on YouTube, but the most genuine and organic one, I gotta be more authentic in every part of my life, even the things that I wanted to hide. This past week has been unbelievably crazy for me. I'm not gonna dive into that because me telling you my problems isn't what I'm trying to get at. What I'm trying to get at is how I dealt with my problems because 28 years of me living on this earth, I keep catching God giving me these beautiful life lessons and now that I have a platform that I've been openly talking about God, uh, I just wanted to share some of these experiences. All of my tattoos that have been put on me have been a lesson, like a really big lesson. And I thought I mastered the art of humbling myself. Now, when you hear the word humble, you probably think of uh, buying expensive things or acting like a dickhead sometimes. And you're like, oh, that kid's not humble. Uh, that's a little bit of it. The, the crazy thing about being humble is it's tricky and it comes in different boxes. And today I, uh, I'm gonna talk to you about how God taught me to humble myself before him. Uh, there were so many uh, moving parts in my life and I'm a man who takes action. I don't leave it for anybody else. I do not sleep until what I have in my plate is completely done and I move on. Uh, there was a lot of emotional things I had to deal with, personal things I had to deal with, business things I had to deal with. And it was crazy because two weeks ago I looked at my girlfriend and I said, wow, I feel like I'm dreaming. My life is at such a good point right now that I feel like I'm dreaming. And then like that, everything went, everything that I had that I was excited about started going on fire. And uh, it was scary. And I started learning when I see people out there doing hurtful things or uh, getting angry. And it's, it's crazy how when you're scared or angry, your decisions are based off of your emotions and not logic. And I've already learned that in the past. So I was doing it humbly in my mind. I was like, okay, you know what? He's hurting. I'm going to deal with him in a, in a humble way. Uh, this is happening. I'm going to deal with it calmly. And so I kept thinking that me being humble was not being angry or not using my emotions to dictate my actions. And I thought I was mastering it, but then more and more and more things are falling in front of me. And uh, I got so overwhelmed and scared. Uh, that I wasn't eating properly, I wasn't drinking enough water, and uh, I, like I fainted. Uh, in the middle of working, Reed was actually here, uh, and Belle was here, uh, and it wasn't like a dramatic faint, like I was like, oh, and I just fainted. I just, my heart was overworked because I was, I was very confused on why it was happening to me. And I think that's what I've been reading a lot of comments. A lot of people have been asking me like, yo, why does this happen to me? If God exists, why does this happen to me? And uh, I, used to, I used to be able to answer that, but then when I was going through something where I knew God wouldn't want this to be happening to me, it was, it was really a question of, okay, what am I doing wrong? Is there something that I'm doing that God's punishing me for? Did I do somebody wrong? Did I hurt somebody? Did I have ill intentions? Is my heart going in a corrupted way and God doesn't want me to be there? There's so many things flooding my mind that it overwhelmed me. And it's so funny because I always tell people when you want to start a relationship with God, don't worry about the rules right away. Just start building a relationship. And the relationship that I always ask is to give me strength, wisdom, faith, and knowledge. And I feel like these forms that I ask for will help me become a better person and have a better relationship with God. And once I have a better relationship, I could better understand him. I've been asking him to show me why this is happening and, and what is this about? And in my life, I'm always in charge. I tell everybody what's gonna happen, what's going to do this and that. And then when things fall apart, I put the weight of the world on my shoulders because if I fall down, then Re will fall down, then Bell would fall down, then and then uh, all my other employees will fall down. So the weight of the world, is it, it does heavily impact me. 
And so I take my work relationship and bring it into a personal relationship. And sometimes I mistakenly use that in my relationship with God. Uh, I was on my way back home on a, on a regular plane and uh, I'm really scared of turbulence. Super scared of it. I don't like it, it freaks me out, tiny bits. Like if it goes like this, I start losing my mind. I'm on this plane and all of a sudden, wind hit so hard that my head smacked against the side of the, the I was sitting on the window aisle and I woke up because I was napping and then all of a sudden I see the flight attendant running to her seat and then the guy next to me praying to his God that he believes in and I'm like, wait a second, am I dreaming? And then the people in front of me are like this, are freaking out and then the guy on the, uh, on the, who's flying the plane goes, guys, uh, we're trying our best to get out of it uh, but we're having unexpected winds and the turbulence was so unbelievably scary that I called, I, like I started texting my mom because I had Wi-Fi on the plane and I told her, I was like, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna make it out of this. I, I really think this is bad. And the way that, you know how like when you see a flight attendant and, and shaky and they're not nervous, everybody on the plane was nervous and it scared the living crap out of me. Mind you, small turbulence freaks me out. Me like going back and forth on a plane looking down and watching the plane go like this. I, like I was about to, again, pass out. I was, I was very terrified, but it was so funny because all of my problems left. All the small problems that I was worried about left. And I remember in that moment, it's crazy that if my life would end right now, that I would be begging God to give me those problems. And that perspective really changed my life. So I'm sitting there on the plane and, and, I, and I remember a Bible verse about when Peter was on a boat and the water was going crazy and Jesus said, what kind of faith do you have? And he calmed the whole storm with his hand and the water stayed still. I text my mom that I was very scared. I told her, pray for me. And then immediately when she, when she started praying, I got, and I, and I remember that story about Jesus talking on the boat and I, and I prayed and I said, God, I go, please calm this wind. I have no control over it. And I, and I swear, and I might sound like a lunatic, but as soon as that left my lips and my heart, immediately, immediately the wind stopped. And we were just cruising perfectly. And I texted my mom, I go, I'm gonna sound crazy, you wouldn't believe this, but like this has completely stopped. The reason I told you that story is because that plain situation to me in my heart, I feel like God answered my prayer. The prayer was this. I asked God, what is the learning situation? Why is this happening to me? And when you're on a plane and the wind's going crazy, you have no control. There's nothing you could do. That is life. There's nothing you could do about things sometimes. That's why you need to humble yourself and throw it at God's feet. I came back from that trip in every situation that was happening to me, instead of acting on anger or emotion or, or what the world was pressing me to be, I had to humble myself and said, okay, this is all happening, but what would God want me to do right now? Even though this guy's coming at me in such an incredibly evil way, and I, want, and I could destroy him right now, legally. I have a complete shot at destroying the situation. But how would God want me to handle this? This way would have been war, money, pain, crying, but I had to humble myself because I'm, I'm not a warrior. I'm not, I'm not here to fight. I'm not here to, to tell everybody what to do. And so I had to humble myself and know that I'm just God's son. And as soon as I started acting to my neighbors, my enemies, and my loved ones, how God wanted me to act, in three days, everything has solved itself. Now, uploading this video is, is I feel like a, a, a lunatic would do that. I, I, I don't like when people get cheesy or, or weird, but when I'm watching the YouTubers uh, post very filthy things and uh, and things that I truly don't promote or, or care for, but they get so many views and, and people don't judge them for it. But as soon as you talk about God or you talk about your faith, it's like it's looked down on. And I'm not here for it. I'm here to be the best human being that I could possibly be. Uh, and I truly feel that 
through my relationship with God, I'm, I'm learning and growing at a, at a speed that I never thought I'd ever be at. And so I will, uh, if it's so embarrass myself by uploading a video like this, then and so be it. But yes, this is uh, something that's been on my heart. And trust me, I've been fighting myself to post this video or, or to even shoot this video. But I don't feel it's necessary to do that. I think who I am, I'm very proud of. And uh, I truly feel that if a lot more people had a, had a good relationship with God, there would be less pain in the world. I love you guys. Uh, and just know that whatever you're going through, to humble yourself and, uh, and ask God to help you out.